Welcome back to Elden Ring, Shadow of the Earth Tree. We're going to look around down here on the Cerulean Coast. Looks like it's only really Cerulean for like this part here. And then it transforms into like the crazy dragon place over this way. Dragon's Pit Terminus. And then up into this mess. Then further into what may or may not be a place. Really hard to tell with the jagged mountain looking area over here. We'll worry about that later. <laughs> For right now, we've got some things to get. Right here. Picked up two more of the shadow tree fragments last time. So we'll use that for another upgrade here. That's great. Gorgeous view. Oh, gorgeous view. Beautiful. Lovely place. Okay. So we came out of this way. I don't think there was any other paths to take up this section. We walked past the other fire guy here at the end of the river. We made it up into the Cerulean Coast, yeah. We'll start exploring from here. Looking around for stuff. Seeing what's available. Kind of on this layer here, it looks like. There is definitely upper sections here. Which we may or may not be able to get up to somehow. Possibly even just have to go from a different way. We'll find out. We got this dragon here. Let me start with the dragon. He's just chilling. Doing dragon stuff. Slay that dragon? I can slay that dragon. Seems like a very reasonable plane. It's looking like a very spooky dragon. Alright. Golden bow. Now let's get on in here. With some mole's death. Ghost flame dragon. That's that. This is the same kind of dragon we fought earlier. He would run back. Class. Other kind of class. That's a bit of damage there. It's just from the last time. Huh? It's wild. From the light of death. <laughs> the light of death. So it steps on me a little bit. That's fine. Run away from that. Not too far away. Oh, what's happening here? Skeletons. <laughs> Skeletons are happening here. <laughs> They're all dead now. Well, that's worth it. Stepping on me. Yep. <laughs> Out of FP, that's not helping. Okay. We killed the skeletons, or are they coming back? Oh yeah, they're coming back. That that's a problem. That's something we're gonna need to deal with. <laughs> not killing them multiple times here, the dragon. Okay. Well, that's neat. Okay. How interesting. Yeah, we definitely want to deal with the skeleton swans then. Be a good idea. <laughs> Let's say. <laughs> Don't 
right over that. That's as intended. Good to know. Lots of stuff to lock on to over there, too. It's not ideal. You don't need to get away from the fight we're trying to do. <laughs> it's over here now. The dragon's fine with it. Just a little bit extra going on. Go back. 
say I dodged through that. I'm not gonna complain. And this mix makes blasts. That's what's not helping. Stop caring. Use that to advantage. I guess it was far enough away as not messing with us. Just aim down. So you can summon more skeletons. Alright. And deal with the skeletons is. Tail swipe, but jumping over it. Not all that, but jumping over it. <laughs> Go slay and dragon defeat. How fun! What a good time. <laughs> Alright, 20,000 runes. Dragon Heart, Sovereign, Dragon Smith, Mr. Not bad. I will take it. I will take it. Right, let's immediately go back and heal here. <laughs> Be able to deal with the skeletons while not fighting the dragon really helped. That really helped a lot. <laughs> Would have been much worse. I assume eventually the dragon would two tap the skeletons and deal with the problem for us. But not quickly. We got another 6,400 runes here. We could get a level up. 
Also got these grave crickets. Crickets that produce a raspy cry. Used for crafting items. Mainly found near stone coffins. Some of these crickets are often taken to be the rustling of the restless dead. Sometimes the sound of their calling voices. How spooky. Alright. Get some maroons. It was 7,500. It's close enough. Get another level, yeah. Level up. Just think more endurance right now. More equip load. More good times. That's what I always say. Alright. So now that the dragon is dealt with, we can look around here a bit more peacefully. What are these little shadow guys? They're just chilling. Except for the mage guys that are attacking us. These dagger guys. Oh, they're mad now. One flurry of daggers deals with them quite well. <laughs> it's got a pile of coffins here. What a safe place to try to jump up to. <laughs> eh, actually a safe place. Wow. <laughs> Not what I was expecting there. That's alright. Look around. The edge is here too. Now here in the middle, we did find an item. It's just on the ground. Got some sparkly flowers. They're not items. It's not here in the middle. It's kind of an island. Just a just a little bit of water around here. Nothing too deep. Which is nice because deep water is kind of. Not something we can really deal with, unfortunately. <laughs> yes, we're, we're very much standing on that. That's totally fine. <laughs> Alright. There's a dog. Obviously. The guys at the graves. Here's the coast. Actually at the coast. Oh, there's a island over there. Let's try to get over there. It's like a fun place to be. Ah, beautiful. And Sandus. These shadowy. Possible. I think they're more shadowy guys. Maybe burnt guys. Some of those. They're not having a good time. Deep purple lily. Not a fruit. Okay. We go up this way. Yes, we can. I kind of looked around to this level. Let's go up there. Let's go up to here. That's some ruins or a monument or something. Up this way. It's like a right mess. On top of it. Whee! Oh, this, was, this was something. Uh, Grave Glove Fort 9. Okay. That's this whole big thing here on the map. Yeah, obvious locations to look at here. A more broken chunk over here. So it could be part of a bridge or something, too. All the little flower lights looking like they're a thing. Wild. Okay. Keep going this way first. Oh, these guys are mad. I don't have to worry about that. Anything up in this? Yep, there is. 
Maybe I'm going for a night. Yeah. Just chunks of stuff falling from the sky. It seems to be a continuing theme. There's a whole. Oh, there's the crazy worm guys. Display guys. Oh my goodness. <laughs> a good time to get your flasks back. It's kind of just a slightly bigger shadowy guy. This section of water. Anything wild happening over here? Probably. These little worm guys all the way back into here. Could this be a cave? You would think it could be. These guys just kind of showing the way. Hmm. Doesn't seem like it. Just kind of here chilling. There's also some over here. They're just kind of down in this area. That's alright. Beautiful. Beautiful stuff. A little lightning. Lightning guy. Oh, birds. Deal with their flight. Knock them down. And then you're good. Pretty much. We don't want to anger the worm guys. We don't need that right now. Counting the arrows. Okay. And another flash. Let's activate the lightnings here. I think they fire more lightnings too. That's not great. Lost Ash of War. Run to the sides there. Some string. Shell Realm, Rune 3. Okay. Any more lightnings or birds out here? This will be okay. Spirit Grave Stone. Love White. These worms aren't gonna get mad at us for taking stuff, are they? This kind of spirit worm, guys. They're just chilling. They're just chilling. So along the coast here. And closer this way. Some blood. This guy ran in and probably got shocked. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that is the danger. Anything else? Not ideal. Please do not. <laughs> oh my goodness. Need to knock it paralyzed. That would help. <laughs> Time it. Doing a really poor job. <laughs> they didn't, even, they didn't even try. 
Shadow guys hanging out there. Gravekeeper's Cookbook 1. Huh? Better crack techniques of the Gravekeepers. Watch over those who rest in the realm of shadow. Part of the knowledge of Fletch Crafty. Craft the following Peak Bone Arrow, Peak Bone Arrow Fletched, Peak Bone Bolt. And what kind of thing would that be? We already have all the bone arrows. Bone bolts. Peak Bone. Thin beast bones, congealed putrescence, and human bone shards. And fly pinions. Four things to make some feathers. Wild. Fly your head. Just jump. You're fine. See a house there. It's gonna be a cave that connects over there, most likely. That's how it worked the first time. <laughs> Jumping ahead. Yeah, no. <laughs> There's a way down here. That could be it. Into a, into a cave? Oh, yeah. That is the way. Before we head down there, to the last section of this area. More big ruins. Eventually stuff that fell from the sky. On this side. Oh, the other side here. Stuff up there? I'm gonna get up into here, it doesn't look like. There's a path. Let's go back into here. What's back here? Likely boss. <laughs> eh, that does seem likely. <laughs> He's dead. Oh, we got angry. We got angry worms. Got a thing here? Yep. This is the stone. Yeah. We got angry worms at the edges here. If we anger the, if we attack the angry worms. They'll make the other ones angry, though, so. Behind the waterfall. <laughs> gotta be something behind the waterfall. What are you doing? Sneak on by here. There's a regular guy. Spirit sword. Everybody? <laughs> Dog, this is your friendship. Okay. Oh, yeah, a new sword. Oh, a, here comes a guy. Yeah, I hear you. <laughs> I found a new sword. It is a curved sword slashing. Sharp blade sculpted into a twisted shape. So I've seen many years of use in the gravesite. Set to serve as a medium for communion with spirits. Unique skill, Rancor Slash. Swing around, slashing foes while summoning vengeful spirits, which chase down foes. Which input allows for a follow-up attack. Not a very large sword here, by any means. find daggers at some point. There's a lot of stuff out here. A lot of stuff. Broken room. <laughs> oh boy. 
Put on the other section here. That's more the angry boys. What do you got back here, angry guys? We're demi humans. Jimmy Humans Club. This is kind of going. Is it going up or is it going under? It's going under. More than anything. Oh, this guy. <laughs> oh, they got, they got friends coming. That's alright. They're not a problem anymore. <laughs> a falchion. Technically new. Also, technically the club is new, but not actually new weapons or anything. Those things we didn't have before. Because we didn't need to. <laughs> Back here. Not really. I'm kind of trying to avoid the worms here, I think. Would be a strategy up here. So we got guys back there. They're just I'm ahead. Therefore, be wary of left. I got more lightning guys from here too. Stained dagger. Beautiful. Shadow tree fragment. Love it. Got it. Fantastic. I'll always take more of those. We don't get too close to them, they don't get angry. Lots of okay. Made a pass. It's down here. There's lots of layers and stuff. Light maybe. And go up to here, which isn't too helpful. What else we got here? Lightning ball. Safe. But the happy worm guy is here. And behind this waterfall? Should be. Almost looks like there was. It's just a crack here. Ooh. <laughs> it's really hard to tell where this underground cave system is going. With the map of the world above it. Here is a. Let's take of America. Whole place out this way. That's definitely a whole place. We got we got a lot of things here. We got a stick of America, we got a summoning guy, we got a you can summon here area. Area of pack. Armor head master. There's something over there, clearly. I think over this way. We still do have that hole we could go down to. Waterfall. Yeah, not really. Some mini waterfalls. How much else going on? Okay. That's some happy dogs. That's more demi humans. We'll go over towards the group of guys over here. Which seems to be a whole place. A whole thing going on. We got 
got a bigger guy at the edge there. Medium guy here. I guess medium large, just the smallest guys. Then there's the next smallest guys. There's the small guys, then there's the big guys. And there's these chief kind of guys. And then there's the biggest ones. Got a whole bunch of guys out here. Keep sneaking around the sides here. I think it'd be the wisest plan. Wanna shine? You. A little bit out of the water here. Again, not the way over to anywhere else. Seek God. That's a dangerous edge of the world water here. Edge. Oh, edge. <laughs> Indeed. <laughs> dangerous spots. Dangerous spots. Enemy ahead. The ocean. <laughs> And gravity. One of the most dangerous enemies, honestly. Alright. We've awakened the big. Three human queen. There we go. Magic. It's okay. trying to walk slowly away from me. That goes for you. That was a boss. <laughs> Starlight Sword. I think defeating the boss made everybody else scared. They kind of do that. No. No surrender. Not allowed. <laughs> Yeah, here. <laughs> Alright. I'll take my bit of string here. Broken room. Oh, you're still aggressive. Bold strategy. Right here. More crickets. Sure. Try up there. That's the spot we can go. Look at the rest of the land here. And here. <laughs> this guy did not get the memo. <laughs> and that is. Presumably everyone, because we got the flasks back. That's nice. Anything up here? Doesn't really seem like it. Try going up on top of this whole mess. Is that, a, is that a big boat? That's interesting. Where are we on the map? Just still underneath something? Not really. It's like the edge out of this thing, I guess. Alright. Wild. It's not a boat, it's more of a another bit of that stuff that broke. I guess it could be a boat. Can't get there from here. I'm gonna go on the outside, this is just gonna fall in the ocean, honestly. Doesn't seem like the safest of plans. Can I come up here and get what another grave glove work? That's fancy. I break grave glove work. That's something. 
That's definitely something. I kind of looked around the edges here already. Over there. More various rocks and stuff out there. That's more just rocks, it looks like. Actual islands way down this way. Okay. Well, that's neat. We also got a new... Oh, there's something. Look at that. It's so nice and peaceful here on the shore. Once we dealt with all the guys in the way. Sword there. It is a katana. Slash pierce. Blood loss. Star line sword. Sword encrusted with a line of stars fashioned from small pieces of crude glintstone. Weapon of the demi-human swordsman. When bestowed with this weapon by their queen, the swordsmen swear to find the truth that lies at the end of the procession of stars. The new skill is Ones' Line of Stars. The skill named after the demi-human swordsmaster imbues sorcerer's energies into line glintstones and executes a slash attack. Three inputs allow for two follow-up attacks, each dealing greater damage than the last. It needs more intelligence. Not too surprising. A fancy sword. It's a magical katana. And we can't do the effect because we don't have the magic. Neat. Very fancy too. Look at that. Very shiny. Okay. Let's see if we can get we should probably go in to our rooms before we jump down in a hole. We could like totally get a level here. Yeah. Let's do that first. We didn't find any other like spots really. It didn't look like we could really get up on top of any of these other spots. We were already up into this section. So this section here is still up above. Let's say that's going to be connected to this up above. Which goes all the way over to here. If we come down from this way, you can get onto this upper section. Because we're in this lower section. We're going to pass the river here. Got down to this section. It all just kind of looks the same. This is the cerulean section at the bottom here. More of a red section up above. Well, there is a hole over here. It's likely going to lead to this island. I think we will just run over in there. Seems like a good plan. Once we get the level up, of course. Still a decent number of runes coming our way. Which is nice. Level up. Endurance. I have to think of how far we want to get this. Ooh, levels into other things too. Don't really need to. We're doing pretty good with what we got. We do have a lot of options. So we could just put in a bunch of stuff. Maybe so just go this way. See if Yep, there's that guy. So they do respawn. That's fine. Just going to ignore him. We could also farm him for drops, probably. Well, I think their weapon is just got him from somewhere else. Oh, but serious of mistakes were made there. Now, <laughs> down below here. As long as that guy doesn't get alerted. Into this cave. It's very safe and very cool. Oh yeah. Where's going down? There's some rocks. Where are we at now? <laughs> we can go down, we can also go up, which is interesting. Silently make our way through here. Just some shadow guys. This is the direction leading towards where the island's probably at. 
This seems right. Got some crabs. Always a fun time with some little crabs. They're just chilling. Larger room. Crab boss. Oh, even worse. Dangerous. Dangerous place. What flesh. Need more of those in here? I wouldn't be surprised. There's Tori in here too. Wild. More of a cave than anything. I would have expected that. Smaller tunnel. And up. Onto the island. <laughs> When it works, it works. Why does it work? Check down the crabs. Some crab eggs. Try not to jump off of the island, though. Preferably. And here we are on the island. A smaller land chunk here. Climb to the top. Perfumed oil of Rana. Okay. Small bottle wrapped in bright red cloth, filled with flammable perfume oil. Uses FP to spout flames forward. Answer Rana. Keep these. Concealed as they dance, or in their height of their passion, with an explosion of searing flame and sweet, enticing scents. What's a fire attack there? Cool, cool, cool. Interesting stuff. Enemy ahead. Seek revenge. Fight the ocean. Fight the crabs. Do what you want. You can go around. No. <laughs> Set up here. No more happy worms. Just chilling. Having a good time on this island here. A lot of fruit. And a building. Oh dear. Anything else up here? Like a whole lot of stuff here. It's definitely a building. Definitely stuff happening here. Anything else going on? More worms and stuff. Very magic. Or something. <laughs> no surface head. Could this be a cliff? Could be. Made it over to the place. Not too much happening on this island. That's okay. Do we have this? Lover ahead. Southern Nameless Mausoleum. Try guard counter. Pathetic sort. Beautiful, lovable sort. Let's go in with Bullet Love Bombs first. Give it a shot. What are we up against? The Dancer of Rana. Or a Dancer. Hmm. 
Let me use your fire attack. There's some fire. Oh, that boss. <laughs> I'm allowed to heal. It's very rude. They do, they do be spinning. They do be spinning. Oh, who's out of flex? <laughs> These boss guys really need to start bringing more than one flask. That's their mistake. <laughs> bye bye. <laughs> Eighty thousand runes. And a whole bunch of stuff. The dancing blade of Rena. Dancer's hood, dancer dress, dancer bracer, and dancer trousers. Okay. Let's see this blade. They get they got to try it a little bit. Dirty sword, a blaze with impassioned red. A pair of weapons made to be wielded in both hands. Used by the dancers of Rena. Strikes enemies with dancing assault, while executing a strong attack. Unique skill, unending dance. Furious dance formed by a succession of slashing attacks. Hold the button down to sustain the dance for as long as stamina allows. That's fun. And dual. Dual wield. But it's only one, so you don't get the bonuses. Regular attacks. Dancing around. Jumping, slicing. Charm only goes with one. There's some rolls. <laughs> Let's try the unending dance. <laughs> and use this FP too. Stamina would definitely be the main thing. <laughs> it almost is unending. Give him that. And then in the equipment section, or I guess items. Dancer's trousers. Long black, long black trousers worn underneath the deep crimson dress of the Rana dancers enhances the power of dancing attacks. Okay. So wield this to get even stronger with the dancing attack. The braces of the Rana dancers increase the power of dancing attacks. Designed to protect the sword wielding hand. Dancers dress. R bright red dress of the Rana dancers enhances the power of dancing attacks. The dance of Rana is one of burning passion. The most passionate dancers never allow their fiery dance to end, losing even their names as they dance on. To seek the passion. To see the passion fade is to see the dancer's flame extinguished. The dancer's hood, also bright red. What are now dancers? Also enhances the power of dancing attacks. Wild. So, four things that would enhance the power of the dancing attack and the dancing attack blade of unending dance. Well, that's definitely a whole thing. No need. Grass. Death. Circling around. And stuff. Alright. So that's what was on this island. The southern Nameless Mausoleum. With that, we've looked at what should be everything in this lower section up to about here. So we need to go past where the dragon was at, essentially. Continue our coastal adventure. Next time. Goodbye.